All resources have a place, um, whether they're proprietary, openly licensed, or free, as long as they're quality. What we try and train teachers and students to do is to be able to determine uh, between high and low quality resources and then utilize the best uh, curricular materials that, that align to the experience. Uh, we still use some proprietary materials because we found that there are some quality proprietary materials out there. Uh, but we always look for openly licensed resources first and, and we look for high quality and there are a lot of high quality openly licensed resources out there for students and teachers to use. So I think it's, there's, an, there's an ecosystem of, of resources out there. Materials can come in all sorts of different delivery types and different license types. Um, it's important that we really work with educators to understand that the, the key is really understanding their, their needs when they're looking for instructional materials to, um, to really uh, suss out whether they are aligned to, to standards using uh, nationally recognized rubrics um, and to really understand their permitted use of, of those materials. At the end of the day, you're going to have a, a, a mix of resources that are all going to be used in, in service of providing the best content possible to our students. We evaluate all types of resources. Um, we just had this experience this last year in um, adopting a new math curriculum. Our teachers went through and evaluated traditional textbooks from various companies, went through and checked rigor, matching standards, and one of the things, things I like to share is I find it interesting that when it was all said and done, um, the teachers evaluated all those materials, made decisions of what was best for our district and for student learning, and did um, adopt Eureka Math as a resource. When we have developed teachers uh, when looking at curriculum and aligning standards with learning targets, with assessments, when it comes time to really aligning those resources uh, to get to the instructional goal that you're looking for, uh, we find more often than not that our teachers gravitate toward um, open educational resources because um, you know, if your, lessons are, if your lessons are really good and your standards and your learning targets are rigorous enough, we're just finding more and more often that a textbook does not deliver uh, the resource type or the resource rigor that, that really we're looking for most often.